Since 2020, the number of people using Ethereum has grown faster than the number of people using the internet in the 90s. That's impressive, but it brings challenges. Ethereum was built to have high security and decentralization, but wasn't built for this much traffic. So it's extremely congested at peak times, and this means low speed and high fees. This is where a layer two rollups come in. They sit on top of the main blockchain and they're able to process transactions in batches, hence the name rollup. So they can make Ethereum cheaper and more scalable. In fact, a whole bunch of rollups are fighting to become the Ethereum scaling solution. Arbitrum, Optimism, ZK Sync, Polygon ZKVM, and Starknet all claim to have the answer to Ethereum's congestion problem. But which one is going to win? Can there be more than one winner? That's what we're going to explore in this video. First off, we need to know the speed of layer one. Right now, the main Ethereum blockchain is processing only 12 transactions per second. That's not a lot. By comparison, Visa processes 1,700 transactions a second and is capable for much more. Now, let's quickly explore the different types of layer two rollups. There are two main types of rollups, optimistic rollups and zero knowledge ZK rollups, sometimes more accurately referred to as validity rollups. Whereas optimistic rollups rely on economic incentive and game theory, validity rollups rely on math. Optimistic rollups assume all transactions are valid when posted on Ethereum L1. However, there is a seven day window which allows anyone to challenge transactions. With optimistic rollups, the sequencer processes transactions and posts to Ethereum the state change along with the auxiliary data needed to redo the computation. Then, there is a time window of seven days during which anyone can submit a fraud proof if they think a transaction is fraudulent or erroneous. If the proof is successful, the state change is discarded and the rollup has to re-execute the transactions. ZK rollups are different. They generate validity proofs which are verified when posted on Ethereum, thus avoiding the seven-day challenge period. With ZK rollups, the sequencer submits transactions to the prover. Then the prover proves the transaction's execution is correct and submits a single validity proof to the verifier. Then the verifier, which is a smart contract on Ethereum L1, tests the validity by setting a series of mathematical challenges that would be infeasible to solve if the prover hadn't done the correct calculations. Now, the most interesting part. Let's compare the five most promising rollups. Arbitrum 1 is an optimistic rollup. Its current average TPS is 8.29. Arbitrum differs from other optimistic rollups through its use of multi-round for proofs, which involve back-and-forth interaction and off-chain execution. The Ethereum L1 only has to execute one step, and the process is designed to be more gas-efficient than alternatives. Then there is Optimism, which, as you might have guessed, is also an optimistic rollup. Its current average TPS is 6.41, and it uses single round rather than multi-round for proofs. The single round proofs execute on layer one and thus consume higher gas fees, but they may ultimately enable validators to challenge entire blocks of transactions. Know that the single round proofs are not yet live, so currently users have to fully trust the block proposer. But there is a problem with both these projects. With optimistic rollups, all nodes that want to verify the correctness of the state need to rerun all transactions. That's computationally draining and cannot be really scalable. Now let's talk about the second type of rollups, ZK rollups. ZK Sync Era and Polygon ZKVM went live at roughly the same time and both use zero knowledge technology. Right now, ZK Sync Era has the fastest TPS, 8.46 to 0.47. And in the future, well, both projects are extremely promising, but they have limitations. ZK Sync Era uses a proving system known as Plonk, which is extremely efficient but subject to certain data limits. Polygon ZK EVM's proving system, Flonk, requires less calculation at the verification stage, which is great. But 
While other ZK solutions convert Ethereum code into ZK-friendly language, Polygon runs Ethereum's native opcodes, and this could create scalability roadblocks. Now let's look at Starknet. Starknet is the pioneering ZK rollup. And while Starknet's average TPS is only 3.78 right now, its capacity is much higher. Starknet has just upgraded its sequencer to a faster language and soon it will change the way it handles failed transactions to make the entire processing system more efficient. Recently, Starknet hit 56 TPS for a single block, and the devs behind the project think they may hit 100 TPS very soon. What's really cool about Starknet is the type of proof it generates once it's batched the transactions. While Polygon, ZKVM, and ZKSync era send snark validity proofs to layer 1, Starknet sends Stark proofs. Unlike snarks, Starks are totally trustless, which means they don't rely on a particular group of individuals to create the initial secret keys and they are quantum resistant, so they can resist attacks from future quantum computers. Perhaps most important of all, they are built on simpler math and leaner cryptography than snarks, which makes them able to handle much larger proofs. Okay, full disclosure, Bravos is built on Starknet, so we're not totally impartial. But the above is part of the reason we decided to build on Starknet, and we recognize that Starknet has its challenges. If you're a developer and want to bring your Ethereum dApp on Starknet, you will have to rewrite your dApp in Cairo, which will take a bit of time. On the other hand, EVM brings with it a lot of dead weight to ZK rollups, as the EVM wasn't built with the intention to be mathematically proved. So the best thing we can advise is to try Starknet for yourself. If you want to experience Starknet through a wallet that has the power to become as simple as Apple Pay while offering new levels of security and preserving full self-custody for users, try out Bravos. Simply click on the link in the description below and on the pinned comment. Well, that's it for today. The Layer 2 ecosystem is booming and it's a very interesting space to be in. We're grateful for that. Keep exploring, keep learning, and until next time, take care.